Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis with part 31 of Let's Play Metroid Prime. All right, let's get this this going. Oh no, no, you're not gonna kill me. No, you're not gonna touch me. I don't want anything to touch me before the next boss battle. You just slide down. You just slid down those. That great. That was crazy. So, let's open this. Charge this up, because guess what's coming down? Alright, you're dead. And that's good. So let's melt this ice. And apparently, the ice melting opens this door. Alright, and here is the boss. In my opinion, the hardest boss in the Metroid Prime game. Alright, you can scan him before he wakes up, though, so that's good. The Omega Pirate, most powerful of all the elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can become invisible to normal sight and basically it cloaks itself and it has four shields and it's just uh... it's annoying. It's extremely annoying. And the thing is he is extremely powerful. He's not just annoying because he takes long or because he he's like evasive. Well he is evasive So he fights like a normal elite pirate, which helps, I guess, if you would call it helping. You could call it helping because you know how to fight him normally, but you could call it hurting because he fights like an elite pirate. Alright, now just one more of his shields gone oh this guy can be extremely annoying see I already have only 27 health left from one tank alright and if you listen closely he says finish her finish her yeah I did it terrible alright so All right, so let's go looking for the bastard. Where is he? Where is he at? All right, there he is. Crap. All right. There he is again. Now, he may look like he's going down pretty quickly, but in all honesty, he is extremely difficult. There we go. All right. Oh, darn. There, now he can't be hit again. Alright, but the thing is, uh, sorry for the lack of commentary there, I was just concentrating. The thing is, he actually, he kills his own minions, which is weird, but it helps me, so I'm not going to complain. And now back to him just killing his own minions. Where are you at? 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 
Where are you at? No. There. He's dead. He wasn't really that difficult. I just forgot to change. In the last phase, I just forgot to change from my plasma beam to my power beam and shoot him with a super missile, so I accidentally did a flamethrower. <laughs> Which was not the best thing to do. And there I am. There. Look at that new suit. Phazon suit. That means now I can, uh, I can walk in the Phazon. Because I'm a champ. Alright. So before we go any further, we need to, I need to go back. And if you remember, there was one area with a Chozo artifact. That one Chozo artifact couldn't be gotten, couldn't be obtained. Oh crap. And I'm going to run like hell, because I'm a lazy bastard. Alright. Alright. Well, did you see the, um, did you hear the amount of little squeeches that these, those things made when they died? God, I must have killed like four. Right, I'm looking for, alright, the next room. Crap. This room is full of Metroids. But luckily I can just walk on the phase on now, so it's all good. No! Don't grab onto me. And now we're in here. So get rid of that rock. And just roll your way down. Roll, roll your way around. See, this is why you wouldn't be able to get to it normally because there's so many rocks in the way. And remember that one time when I had to get that missile expansion pack? Oh, that thing took forever. Now imagine that right now for that length of time. So now there's only one left. The Artifact of Truth. And the Artifact of Truth is in the Artifact Temple, which is my next stop, actually. Actually, my next stop is... Uh... Well, I still have one missile expansion pack missing. And I know where it is. It's somewhere in... Crap. You were gonna stop latching on to me. Oh, now I gotta go back to the beginning, really? God, I, I hate this area. I hate it so much. Right. Suck it in. Right, just aim over there. Now, just shoot. Now you can just run through the phase on, which is fine by me. Um, just put a power bomb down. These things kill Metroids in seconds. No, literally, it's a one-hit kill for a Metroid. Power bomb. I'm gonna kill you. If you really think about it, Metroids are pretty easy to kill. You oh shit. Get away from me, stupid-ass flying shit. Alright. Now, let's get back to where we were, shall we?
You know what? I think once I, uh, I get all the equipment, I think I'll end off the episode, the video, and meet you back at the, our ship for the last time. Well, technically, no, because she gets into the ship in, in a cutscene once you beat the game, but that doesn't matter. That's not the whole point. The whole point is I'm going to meet you there once I get there, I, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's not what I mean, but all right. Open this door. And this back, back where? No, I want, I want the scanning. Platform active. Now let's go up. All right. Now let's go get the final energy tank we got it now all we have left is the final missile expansion final missile expansion and then we're done we beat it and to be honest it is in this room so don't be worried we're almost done with this game all right we just gonna climb the outside and go over here a spider ball now what you're hearing is a purple a wave trooper over there oh a wave trooper and a power trooper I'm so sorry See, I th I'm pretty sure they die once they touch. They, they touch the, the phase on down there. So, all right. Put that there, and get the final missile expansion. Alright. And after getting that, I'm pretty sure we're done. We are done. So I'll begin to make the way up. Now let me just check the items. No, no, inventory, yeah. There we go. Energy tank, phase on suit. Visors, space jump boots. Oh, we got it all. We did it. So, in the next episode, I'll meet you back at our ship. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.